can't just snap my fingers and make a plane. Believe me, I wish I could. Right now, we needed one. Bad. When we were coming over on the boat, I remember seeing an aircraft carrier. That gave me an idea. The Admiral Anderson. The name of an old sailor. When the first drone started attacking, the ship wasn't ready for battle yet. It was still in the dock, getting all rigged up. So they rushed to get her ready. I knew about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. They say the deck was sloping so bad as it sank, the last plane barely made it off. Those fighters ended the war. That story gives me a little bit of hope, especially at a time like this. We're all in the same boat, like it or not. If this war keeps going on like it is, it'll be the end of everything. The military loaded this thing to the rafters with planes. Some were fighters that were going to be delivered to bases in occupied territory. It was hit before it could complete the mission. Jackpot. The hangars were loaded with goodies. This scrap queen's got work to do. Trigger, everyone, listen up. The operation was a success. Erusian defense forces have been neutralized and all arsenal birds are down. However, those two new drones buzzing around have royally screwed up our plans. The Ocean and Erusian coalition's air forces are in a sorry state thanks to them. We might not even have any viable aircraft. According to the Scrap Queen, the drones are trying to use the space elevator's transmission capabilities to send their data to drone manufacturing plants across the continent. They're trying to strengthen their numbers. What's worse, their data contains a depth of war experience. So the newer aircraft will be more tactically advanced. If that's the case, this war will never end. We need to take both drones down no matter what it takes. We'll do it so we have homes to go back to. Well, the Scrap Queen's on our side. She says she can make any aircraft fly. This is our final mission. Trigger, let's go. We've got a goddamn war to end. Squadron, take off prep complete.
Commander 3, Skull 2, lost. Damn it, that's clear.
importantly, I thought Trigger destroyed all the drones. It's still the way it swings, yet it's still flying. Can anyone hear me? That aircraft needs to be taken care of. She's right. I see something on the radar. The UAV is alive and kicking. Tunnel. That tunnel leads to the space elevator. Trigger, you're gonna have to fly into the tunnel after the UAV. Where's the escape vector? There's enough space for him to turn beneath the elevator. That's a suicide mission! Count, where are you going? We rely on Trigger too much. He's gonna need help. You can't be serious, Count. Yeah, well, you had no problem with Trigger doing the same thing. Trigger's different. We'll see. You damn fool. Caution. Don't worry. I learned something from my last squadron. Stick with Trigger, and you'll make it. Caution. Pull up. Count, give me your status. Alive. Excellent. So you're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes you think that? No time to explain. The radio will cut out soon. Take a short time for the drone to send over the data. There it is! UAV spotted! We finally found it! There is some static when the gate closed. Do you think the UAV is operating the gates? Well, there goes our only way out. I thought we were gonna pull this off after we came through that maze. No sign of the drone. Did it take another path? Doesn't matter. We know where it's going. We can catch it. Elevation is minus 500 meters. 
minus? Hey, Trigger. You dumbass. Tell me something. What color's the sky up there? Belt. I can't tell you how proud I am to be the first to land at Wait, this what was that transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase of the spaceship Pilgrim One. The ocean of stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. And now, at last, we have a gateway to ascend to it, over and over again. It's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I salute the pilot who gave us all a future. Skies unknown. The path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Grandad. The refugees built a settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktovania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us too. I never wanted to create anything, but now, here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment, then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed, at a ripe old age. Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. Dark blue. To the heavens and beyond.